So I had a little time today to uh, do another experiment that uh, has been kind of intriguing me a little bit, uh, and it pertains to power factor on these two inverters, uh, and more specifically, power factor correction and how they deal with that. Now, with power inverters, um, you usually have two ratings. You have a wattage rating, and then there's a voltage amp rating. Uh, two are very... Uh, each each of those uh, metrics have a purpose. Power inverters care more about voltage amps. Uh, wattage refers to the uh, real power that you get from the utility, and voltage amps is the uh, voltage applied to the load times the amps going into the equipment. Um, voltage amps is what you got to really look for, um, and the difference between watts and voltage amps is called the power factor. So I'm going to compare and do a quick experiment on the OSP Tiger Claw 1500 watt inverter and the Samlex SSW 2000 watt inverter, which I actually just purchased for myself after I had repaired uh, a fellow YouTuber's uh, same model. I uh, decided to purchase it for myself, one, because I was really familiar with the inner workings of it if I ever had to repair it again. And uh, it actually is a really nice inverter. Uh, I've done some uh, testing with it, and it uh, it powers quite a bit of stuff. I also purchased a 122 amp hour battery from Walmart. It's a uh, 20 Group 29 DC for deep cycle, and uh, it's May 2014 manufactured, so it's brand new, and it was only 80 bucks, which is uh, not bad at all. Now, what I found interesting when it comes to power factor. Power factor um, is managed differently between these two inverters, and uh, the voltage amp rating uh, is also very different between these two. Uh, I find that the Tiger Claw actually has voltage amps um, more closer to what you get out from utility power. The Samlex inverter actually, when a, a piece of equipment draws a hell of a lot more voltage amps than it does uh, the actual wattage. Uh, and I'm going to show you a comparison between the two just using my uh, um, kilowatt meter with uh, two powered speakers here. Something very simple and uh, you'll be able to see the difference of the same load off the, sa off the two different inverters. Now what's spurring me on to really try this experiment is the other day I, just for shits and giggles, I decided to plug my um, Embryon pinball machine into the Samlex power inverter and while it powers it for like 10 seconds the main fuse inside the pinball machine pops. Now the pinball main fuse is a 3 amp slow blow and when I looked at the apparent uh, voltage amp draw the voltage amps were a lot higher than if I was to plug into the utility a wall outlet uh, the voltage amps were quite a bit less so it tells me that there's something going on with the power factor uh, with the uh, Samlex inverter. Now I very well may be comparing apples to oranges here because there's uh, two very significant topology differences between these two inverters that uh, I need to make mention here because I use this Tiger Claw inverter to connect to my two-pole transfer switch which has worked flawlessly, no issues at all. And there's a main reason for that. Uh, this inverter does not have a bonded neutral to ground on the output side, and the battery, uh, negative terminal of the battery and the case ground are isolated, they're not bonded. When in comparison to the, top, uh, to the Samlex inverter, the Samlex inverter has actually a GFCI, a ground fault circuit interrupter outlet here, has the neutral and the ground bonded together on the output section and as well the negative terminal terminal of the battery is actually the case ground so there's a, a complete difference in how these uh, inverters are wired inside so the samlex inverter does not support connecting to a two-pole transfer switch and the reason being is if you were to take the same jumper cable that i made a, a regular 120 volt outlet to uh, an L1430 twist lock, and then you, I jumper the two hots together, the X and the Y. Uh, what would happen is that as soon as you plug this into, plug that into the inverter, the GFCI would trip because um, the, your main panel has its neutral and its ground bonded together. So if it's bonded here, it's going to sense the current 
traveling on the ground and it's going to trip the uh, GFCI breaker inside. And with the Tiger Claw, you don't have to worry about that because there's no internal bonding jumper here and there's no GFCI, so there's nothing to trip and there's no return current coming back uh, necessarily on the ground. Which, to be clear, the only time uh, current travels on the ground is on the during a ground fault. So what I'm going to show first is the baseline test on utility wall power. Uh, again, I have just these two powered speakers here. They should only pull about 30 watts at idle. So we're going to bring this on. And we're looking at about 116 volts out. We're looking at a power factor of 0.72. 59.9 hertz. 31 voltage amps. And then we have 22 watts. And that's 0.26 amps. And that's all at an idle. Now the next test we're going to do is with the Tiger Claw inverter. So let's go turn that on. And the fans kick off. I'll plug this in here. Now let's go turn it on now. So what are we looking at here? We're looking at about 114 volts out. Fact, power factor of 0.73.75, 60.2 hertz, 33 or 34 voltage amps, 24 or 25 watts, 0.29 amps, and 114 out. So very, very close to what utility power puts out. Now with the Samlex inverter, this is the newer style remote, it actually turns it turns on the inverter and it has a bar graph instead of a uh, numerical uh, wattage output. Since this has the newer daughter board, the newer style uh, remote works uh, along with it. And as I try to focus in on it, sorry. So now we're gonna plug this into the Samlex inverter. And now watch what happens with this inverter. You turn it on. Again, very quiet. You hear from the um, the horn that there's little to no uh, noise at all. Looking at about 114 volts out. Power factor is 0.13, 59.7 hertz, 230 voltage amps. This is what I found very interesting. The voltage amps is much higher on here, and yet we're looking at about a 31 watts at idle. And now we're looking at 2.1 amps that's taken up a lot more power. So there's obviously not the best power factor correction on the Samlex inverter, which I was very, very surprised on. Uh, the Tiger Claw actually for roughly $200, actually you can get it for less, has better power factor correction than an inverter almost twice it's actually more than twice this thing retails for about four hundred and fifty dollars i thought i thought that was a uh, pretty uh pretty amazing 